for on your 24-7 stream, offering a constant channel of historic fight action all day, all night. So tune in, sit back, and enjoy a network created by fans for fans. Step into our world at UFCFightPass.com. With the third amateur bout of the evening between Rasumni and Erber, Germany versus Austria. What a fantastic bout to watch. Absolutely. Andres Rasumni and Elias Eber. Absolutely, what a fantastic matchup we have today. The Austrian and the German. Wow, Rasumni going straight away for the guillotine. Ah, he looks like he's he, he looks like he's got it, but he's not linking his hands together at the moment. So Erber doing a good job in keeping his weight up and trying to circle around in order to make his escape. He's doing a very good job here. So Rasumni now trying to switch it up, but he's linked his hands together now. Okay, he's given up on the guillotine now, just trying to make sure he secures his guard again. Absolutely. What a great defense from Ebra, by the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. He showed he's been there before. Yeah. However, if you watch Rasumni, you can see that Rasumni actually is... Wow! Fantastic. Fantastic work. Rasumni is showcasing some very good jiu-jitsu. Very good jiu-jitsu. He's got a Polish... Um, Polish background actually and the Polish MMA and jiu-jitsu movement in Europe is very high level at the moment so we can maybe expect him to surprise us with some good jiu-jitsu from bottom absolutely he's going for the knee bar okay oh yeah he's very dangerous he's throwing attacks from everywhere at the moment he always gets his legs in the way now he's looking for the armbar however Erber is doing a great job in just staying heavy on top and trying to not let him peel his arm open. Trying to go in there for the knees to the side, but actually hitting his own hand, uh, which is actually a natural defense uh, from Rasumni on the ground. And you're absolutely right, Rasumni is really this, is displaying his jiu-jitsu prowess here. Very confident, as you say. Great defense. Absolutely. No, he's very confident on the bottom. To be honest with you, Erber is doing a very good job in defending. So he's also showing that he's been in these positions before. Mm. He's not going to be surprised by some of this grappling. However, Rasumni looks very comfortable on the bottom there. So even though Erber might have the dominating position at the moment, it's a very close round. Very, very close round. Also, you know, the danger of somebody like Rasumni is he's 188 centimeters for a featherweight. That is absolutely massive. He's so tall, so he's got these really long limbs that are very dangerous with his jiu-jitsu working with his guard. Absolutely. Watch the upkick. First round's almost over. Looking for a last-minute triangle. No. And that's the first round. What are your thoughts, Luca? Yeah, difficult round to judge. I must say, in my opinion, Razumni has been trying to initiate a little bit more from the bottom. Mm. However, Erber has been in perfect, in his comfort zone, you know. He's never seemed too stressed from the positions. So, it's a very, very close round. Tough to judge. I'm curious to see what happens in round two. 100% me too. And what a distinctive matchup compared to the previous contest where it was just completely standing and striking. Here we see two jiu-jitsu specialists on the ground showing us what they can do. Absolutely, absolutely. To be honest with you, what I see, Erber is looking a little bit more like a classic wrestler on top. You know, not looking for those leg locks, not looking for that new era jiu-jitsu, keeping it basic, but staying very, very comfortable on top. He, he did look comfortable on top, but I would say that also part of that is because you've got, um, you know, Rasumni, um, Andreas Rasumni, who is just so good at jiu-jitsu, as you say, with a Polish background, that maybe he just, you know, Eber, Eber couldn't really, you know, focus on his game plan. Yeah, let's see what happens in round two, you know. Yeah. He might try something new. He might try to keep it standing. However, Rasumni is so tall. Whoa, what a fantastic head kick. He connected. He Rasumni did. firing right back. Good control, trying to take top position. Rasumni right away going for those leg attacks again. Wow, however, Erber is not taking any now. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like that head kick from Erber to Rasumni hurt Rasumni, to be fair. Um, uh, but it looks like he's recovering nicely. Um, and yeah, then again, he's back in the jiu-jitsu. 
And here we go. This is definitely a grappling matchup. You know, these two lads definitely know what they're doing. It's crazy to see the athletes keep on getting better now in their grappling. You can see Rasumi trying to work his way to free his hook and take side control now. Oh, wow, but he's got a dash choke from the bottom. Erbeck could be choking him out. We could, I think, I, th I think he's gonna, I, I think he's got a very okay. deep choke. Rasumni's looking okay, but he's got a very deep reversed rear naked choke on Rasumni's neck. And Rasumni's very tough right now. Where, where, so with his, with his left hand position, where does he actually need to place that left hand to be able to get, make that choke effective? Because it looks like Rasumni is still active. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. That's it. He's, he's out. out. It's over. What a fantastic dash choke from Absolutely Erbe. Absolutely second fantastic. round submission. Very, very good finish. Wow. Who would have said, hey? We were saying just before, Rasumni was dominating with the jiu-jitsu and suddenly, like you said, buddy, Erber showed up with some fantastic jiu-jitsu and finished him. Great job. Great job. The corner and the officials making sure Andreas Rasumni is fine. He's smiling, he's looking okay. It's unfortunate he took the loss like this, but he'll for sure have time to recover in his next bout. bout. That's what amateur bouts are for. You win or you learn. Fantastic, just fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest ended one minute, 18 seconds into round number two. In favor of your winner by submission with a Darce Choke, Elias Eber.